Okay, boys and girls, just before we get started, I want to show you some uh, observations about the Houndsman real quick. When we saw this unit in PTR, it had a range of about 140, which was more than longbows. It now does not. It has a range of all of 65, which is about the same as Ironcap Arcabuziers at their 60 meter range. It's terrible. Terrible. Let's look at the other side of this map. And we'll bring them up here. And Prefecture Archers, Imperial Archers, all that sort of thing, they can easily reach the circle. Can this unit reach the circle? What happens when you try? Well, the answer to that is no. And they fall in a very, very tight circle, no dispersion. So you're only going to kill things very tightly in a circle there. Uh, their targeting is bugged. Sometimes they shoot left, sometimes they shoot right, sometimes they shoot directly up. Get the arrows stuck in the roof and the wall. Something to do with how they target and some of their skills as well. Now uh, you can see here when they're using the number one ability, they'll shoot at a reasonably close range easily enough. Um, the uh, other way you can extend the range with this unit is to use the three ability and send the dogs out and you'll sort of start targeting out. But again, they shoot at funny angles, so you have to be a little bit careful. And um, when we switch back into the one key again, you'll see that things are in range, they can shoot them, but they do not have any auto attack whatsoever unless things are very, very close. This unit, boys and girls, is a very buggy mess. Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to Conqueror's City Siege. Check it, check it out. A uh, high Lionel. Hey fam, how you doing? And we got Ray Katana in here too. Um, we're going to take a couple of units of archers. Um, the reason we're going to do that is we're going to take the Houndsmen and we're going to take the Prefecture Archers and we're going to see how they work together. I won't spoil the surprise, I've already uh, had a, quite a bit of a go with the Houndsmen and obviously Prefectures are my favourite archers for their leadership, anyone who's been watching the channel for, will know for a while. And so we'll see if the new Houndsmen will challenge that assumption. Here we go with this very beautiful animation at the start that for some reason doesn't have any sound. Or very little sound, <laughs> like two footsteps every now and then. That could have been cooler if it had sound. All right, so let's not muck around, we'll get started. Um, we don't want them to go any further than they have to, so we'll just sort of hit V and tell them to attack up until here. Uh, the reason for that is uh, we don't want to come all the way to about where I am now and get shot from that top point up to the right, that supply point. Um, ideally, I would like to get up there and capture it if we can. Depends what the rest of our team are doing. Uh, let's have a look here. What if we bring them closer? This is, we'll just have a little bit of a test of the Prefecture Archer's range. You can see that they're going to fire out of range here. But from this point, they probably can't reach. They'll probably land on the stairs somewhere. There we go. Um, I'd like to go that way. We're not going to if our team aren't. Anyway, we'll take a bit of a risky move and bring our archers around here. Hopefully those Shinji Grenadiers are sleeping and don't use their grenade on me. They've used the grenade elsewhere. That's lovely. And we'll quickly move back across and help capture the A point. We'll leave the archers pretty much here. They'll be able to shoot up on top of the stairs of anyone uh, that's coming too close to the edge. At the same time, they will be nice and safe. So come in here, we'll just heal our friends. So why are Prefecture Archers my favourite uh, archer for their leadership? Well, they're only 185 leadership and they are absolute machine gunners. Let's see what happens when we do this unit up here and are they Shinji Gunners? They are Shinji Gunners. How many Shinji Gunners will we kill? You thought you were going to have a nice time up there with your grenades, didn't you? Didn't expect arrow rain from a unit of prefectures. Mwahaha ha 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 ha. And we've killed, well, pretty much the entire unit there plus somebody else who was standing around. Let's pop them back here because we don't want to take any return fire. Uh, we have a nice long range with the prefectures and a very high rate of fire. So we'll just sort of assess. Our team are pushing at the top, and this is about as close as we want to get. But when they get up there, the arc of the arrows with the arrow rain is very, very good. No treb. And watch this. We're doing somewhere between about 500 up to 2,000, depending on what the... the what get hit. Now that's going to be important because we're going to compare the damage of the Houndsmen to the damage of the Prefectures as well. So this is going very well for the Prefectures. This is a perfect scenario for them. Their nice lob fire and their arrow rain definitely make them very advantageous in a like uphill battle, will you say, for this. I don't know if we can hit here. Let's have a look at the arc. We sort of can. 
great thing about the prefecture archers with the arrow rain is they will choose and indiv individually choose an, a target around the point uh, the point of impact that you choose and they will shoot accurately at that that is not going to be the case with houndsmen but we'll set that out soon just while we're going to get some more arrows uh, we'll just sort of disrupt their formation a bit i don't want to stick around and get carried off by a maul or stuck in the face by a pike so we'll try and avoid that at all possible speaking of i think he meant to grab me but he got the pike bye pike bye right what's the story here we're capturing C. Better go and take that. The more people that are on the capture point, the quicker you will capture the point. So even if you feel like you're not doing anything by jumping on the supply, uh, the capture point, you are. This guy I have to be very careful of. He's both a maul, which is, a, as we know, overpowered and low-skill weapon. But see those flags on his horse? That means he performed very well in ranked battle last season. So we know that this person is a solid veteran. And a solid veteran with an overpowered weapon is an extremely uh, dangerous opponent. Just like in one of my last videos, I said, oh, if you see people dressed in blue or the F4 quest armor, that you can be a little bit less careful of them. If you see those flags, you know that that person is dangerous. All right, so so far our prefecture archers are doing very, very well. Capturing the back supply point, that is lovely. Can we sneak around? I don't really want to get charged by some pikes but I will happily shoot them and charge into the back of them if we've got some support the cash eggs are going to do them in that's nice well you know nice as far as cash eggs go one of the units in the whole game that require about the least skill out of anything and I see a lot of people trying to defend cash eggs and saying that they're not bad and you can counter them with this or counter them with that Get lost, man. I'm not. This is not my, not my first day playing this game. Cash eggs are extremely overpowered. Anyway, as you can see, our prefecture machine guns are doing good work. Very good work, in fact. We're just telling them to attack normally now, so they don't continue to waste the arrows into nothing. We'll leave them there relatively safe. People can go down and reach them if they really want to, but I don't think they'll do that while we're capturing C. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, people congregate on C, and it's a good place to heal because you get a lot of people and a lot of units at once. Um, this is a very dangerous spot for archers now. Um, we might just bring them up and see if we're killing any stragglers here. Oh, oh, more Shinjis, more Shinjis. Oh, oh. oh. Anyway, we'll see how we go. This is a very dangerous spot for archers. I want to go and get the houndsmen now and swap out because they're a lot closer range. They work a lot more like muskets than they do like archers. So we'll just leave them out there. They should be safe. And we'll come up to the supply point here. Mr. Glaive. Oh, how did that maul, that, the last kick in the, I'll just see if the area rank can reach, probably can't, but the last kick in that cycle should have dismounted that maul, I don't know why it didn't. Um, I can see my prefectures are about to meet a miserable fate, but there's nothing I can do about that. Why did I dive onto the supply point there? I just wanted to interrupt them bringing out any new units, and I wanted to interrupt the healing. Um, so unfortunately, somebody who, see this guy here? Uh, unfortunately... Uh, that guy there is not helping his team whatsoever, so that's a bonus for us. But he did kill our archers. But uh, it's exactly how you see a lot of people play cavalry. They're not benefiting their team in any way. They're just sort of roving around looking for kills. So, um, we want to go there. So yeah, houndsmen work a lot more like muskets. Um, see this guy here shooting up into the into the archway? That's one of the problems of the, the houndsmen is their targeting is completely bugged. Um, they do really weird things. Um, they don't really have an auto attack uh, unless things are extremely close, like extremely close. We might be able to trigger it here. I don't know if we're quite close enough, but we'll trigger our number one ability, which is uh, fire three arrows in quick succession. Um, it triggers the hunter's instinct, which causes bleed only if they get hit by two arrows. If they don't get hit by two arrows, they don't start bleeding. Um, I don't know if the bleed doctrine is very good for this unit for that reason, because they have to be actively hit by more than one um, arrow for it to actually trigger, and it doesn't seem to happen a lot. What the heck just killed a bunch of my archers? See here how their, their targeting is all bugged? They're shooting way up in the air, which is what they should be doing for their two ability, which is like a lob. But they're obviously, and they're hitting things like on the other side of this building that should be impossible to hit. 
Or is that the dogs? I think it might be the dogs. So this unit is really, really buggy. So the way I've got to use them at the moment is a lot like muskets. Get them in nice and close, and um, you can see that their damage there is tra uh, trading from somewhere from about 600 out to 800. So it's a lesser uh, spread than the prefetches, but it's more consistent at about the 1,000 mark. You know, it, it depends entirely on the sort of things that you're shooting too, right? So we'll just leave them in here. How do the dogs work? The dogs are kind of most of the point of this unit. Um, they're very, very squishy, but you send them out and they do quite good stuff. They, they slow the enemy, and if they're slowed and they get hit by an archer, well, at that point, they uh, they can't move at all for a very short period. Think of it as similar to the, the swamp ability with pikes on cavalry. Um, so it looks like we may take this relatively soon if they're bringing down Martella Lori, but they've got a lot of ranged and junk up the top there. Somebody's still trying to use Falcon Eddie. Let's move them in closer again so they can use the auto attack. Again, the auto attack is extremely, extremely short ranged. The trick of the triple shot um, for the cavalry. And I'd say we're going to take this game in pretty short order. Really, there's not much else we need to do. We're just going to sit here like muskets. And that's kind of the way I've been playing this unit. Don't forget, it's only day one. It's only day one of this unit. I haven't made up my mind on this unit yet. I do know that they are really buggy and they're really awkward to use. But hey, we'll see how they go. Um, so we got 74 kills, 19 of which were peasants but, and we didn't take a lot of damage because well we're archers. Prefectures did great, they're much higher kill score than the uh, houndsmen. Came in sort of midway, that's what happens when you take two archer units. This gentleman up here did very very well. Wow 41 modal. And Ryu, Ryu did great as well. <laughs> GG to the team, we did really well, it was a straight push to the finish and uh, not much happened uh, in terms of defence, that was super effective, so I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks so much for coming to my channel.